craps is an interesting game. It's fun. You got all kinds of math. You got all kinds of strategies. You got all kinds of trends. And I would recommend that you guys continue to watch videos that are online and continue to think about the betting strategies as a singular thing that you can do at the table. And it's a strategy can go north, it can go south. So if you have something that you can adapt, I believe you have a better chance. So that's what I'm going to do next. We're going to have a bunch of videos come out and it's going to be about trend betting. So that's going to be coming up next. I hope you're looking forward to it. I am. If you like what you see, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Thank you guys for watching. Welcome, this is Chris from the Craps Couple again. We are on session four of this don't pass trend better strategy. So we have went up and down. So we started out with a $600 bankroll on session one, went to 700-ish, went to 1100-ish by session three, and then we're back to $600 or so. So we're back to our original bankroll, and now we are gonna continue I am going to do the same thing that I've been doing. We're going to be looking for trends. We're going to be looking for the numbers that are hot. Those numbers that are hot at least are protecting us somewhat uh, when we make a stupid decision to stay on the don't pass. But that's what we're doing. When the table is hot, we are still staying on the don't pass. Let's play on. Here we go. Dice are out. Nine. Center field nine. So is the nines. Are the nines this time, are they going to be hot? Are they going to be cold? It's undetermined. Walking up to the table cold with our strategy in hand, our initial strategy, and there's a six. Six easy. So that is going to be a $35 winner on that six. We're going to rack it. Remember, we're going to collect three times before, and then we're going to press. And there's a four, hard, hard four. Let's see what happens this session. And there's another six. Nice. So the sixes are repeating for us. That's nice, especially when we got a bet out there on them. So there's two hits. Let's go. Five. No field five. That doesn't help us. We don't have a bet on that five. Haven't seen an eight, though. There's another five. The five come back, came back. Those fives were hot last session. What do we got now? A yo. Those yo's were hot last session. I don't remember exactly how many they hit, but they were hot. And there's another six. Okay, so there's three wins. All right, so that's three wins for us. The next one we're gonna press. Now you could actually pull your bets down, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna press. The fives are hot. The fives and the sixes are hot. They're making, both of them are making runs. And there's a six. All right, so I'm gonna press this one. And because the fives and the sixes are racing, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna bet on the five a little bit. See which one gets there. And the yo, the yo is, whoop, that flipped. That was a six. That was a yo. So the yo's are hot. And there's a 10, first appearance of the 10 in this session. It's almost like you're horse racing, <laughs> horse betting. Three, three craps. That's all this comes down to is you're picking numbers. Picking numbers based on trends. And there's that five. Excellent. So we did make that bet. I am going to collect this one because we just pressed it. I think the next one I'll press. Hope we get a chance. Eight. So the eight made an appearance and that was a $35 winner on that eight. Let's, that six has been good to us. Let's pick that six up. There's a five. All right, we'll collect that. I'm just rotating now between betting and collecting. That's all I'm doing. Nothing real special there. There's another eight. And that's also, wait a minute, something just happened on my computer. There we go. So that's also a $35 winner. Why not pick up the five? Now we're going to be back into collecting. There's that six and we got 60 bucks on that dude. We got 60 bucks. So that's a $70 winner. Nice. Finally. So that's nice. And then there is a an eight. That's a $35 winner. Again, you could take these bets down at any time you wanted to. Anytime you wanted to. I think I'm going to put another 30 on the six. Then I'm going to collect the five. 
we know that Big Red's coming. And there's that five. It's going to be a $70 winner. You can't deny the trends. I mean, what you can deny is a don't pass strategy on a pass line table. That's certainly, that's certainly arguable. And there is the no doubt seven. There is the no doubt seven. So we got a lot of money out there. We could have took it down, but it made some money for us. So that's nice. And that's the 60 down there. And the rest of this goes back. So we're giving $110 back to the dealer. And I'm going to do some change out on these red chips real quick. Change it out for a black. And that's that first shooter is down and we're on to the next one. All right, here we go. Dice route. Ace deuce. Nice. Very nice. Easy money right there. Wished it would happen like that all the time. Dice route. Nine. Center field nine. So the nines at this at this time are not that great. So why don't we put $75 odds on it? Let's just bet against it. And of course, we are betting with the five. Let's just put those three out there, the five, six, and eight. So we've got 85 bucks we're betting against, and we got 110 down here. So we'll be a good winner if we can, uh, whether a seven happens or a five, six, or eight happens, be good. The only thing that's going to hurt us bad is a nine. And there's a 10. 10 easy. That's a dead roll for us. There's a six. Excellent. Let's collect that six. That's a $35 winner. And I'm just playing this through, guys. This is not, there's no, nothing weird going on, no cuts or anything like that. Win or lose, playing it out. I'm just gaining confidence in this whole trend betting strategy. That's just, I'm ready to just step to the table. By the way, that was an eight, and this is another eight. So this will be our third hit. I'm just not scared um, of this because I've been playing it, it probably more offline than I have on camera. And there's a five. All right, we're going to press that. So we got a $35 winner there. And I don't know, I'm really liking the fives. Let's press the five. Nice route. Yo, 11. And at this time, we've collected so much that we could pull our odds down on that 75. You could do that. I'm still betting on the seven right now. And there's the nine. As soon as I said it, there is the nine. Bummer, huh? All right, so we lose this. But we did okay there. Could have did better. And we get to pull our extra money down. We could have done better had we pulled that down. And I thought about doing it, but I don't know. I'd have been hurt. I've been mad if I'd have done it and it hit, you know, a seven. There we go. Nine's the new point. I still don't believe that those nines are hot. I just don't. So here we go. I'll probably take it down after five. There's a three. Three craps. So after about five rolls, maybe I'll take it down. A yo. There's yo. Yo, 11. And that's just kind of playing the, the numbers of rolls. Look at that. Another yo. The yo's are off the chart already. And there's a six. Excellent. $35 on that six. So that's the thing when you put odds down there. You know, how many rolls do you leave it out there? If it's a really cold number, leave it out there as long as you want. Another yo. Another yo 11. But if it's not a really cold number, it's just kind of indifferent, then I might choose to bring it down. There's another six. Six easy. That's going to be a $35 winner. I think that's our second hit. So I'm probably going to leave our odds out there one more time. And there's a 10. 10 easy. So now I'm going to take this down. My odds are down. And we're going to roll it out. Six. Six hard. That's a $35 winner. And I'm still liking the five. So we'll pick up the five this time. I think that was our... I don't know if that was our third hit or second hit or what. And then there's a seven out. Seven out. No big deal. We got our 60 up here now. 60 down there. It's a wash. Moving on to the next shooter. We're about 40 rolls in at this time. Dice route. There's a come out winner on the seven front line winner. It's not great for us. We don't like it. I think we were about 650 bucks maybe on this one when we started. I'm going to see how we turn out. 
And there's a six, and we don't like that either. The sixes are scorching. They are scorching. Fives are doing pretty good right now, too, but the sixes are just scorching. I mean, it's almost like I should just hop like the, 50, the 11 down there, right? Let's just do that. Eight. Nice. $35 winner on that eight. I'll take it. Um, so 35 bucks here. We'll rack that. I'm going to just take another dollar right here and play that just like that. And a seven. Seven out. Whoops. That was a seven. I crashed into my hot bet. And that is going to be a $5 winner here on that seven. And of course, we lose that one. Just wanted to throw that in there just because you can do that. I mean, it's if it's hot, why not take some chances? All right, dice route. Nine, center field nine. So the nines are, again, right there on the fence. I am going to put 75 down there. We'll consider that uh, we can bet a little bit more out here. Bet on that six, $30 on that six, and we're just going to play it out. Maybe do, I don't know, five to eight rolls. Oh, a repeater, a nine. We got smacked on that one. I was a little on the fence on that nine. I'm not anymore. That nine is hurting us. All right, so 60 bucks back out here. And dice route. Eight. Eight easy. The eights are pretty good. All right, but the nines are better. I do want to bet the nine and the five. So I am going to put $60 odds on that eight. Now we've got a little bit more money. The big red's what we're looking for. And it's kind of cold. Three, three craps. So the sevens are not coming at, on this session. There's a 10 hard. Five, there we go. That's a, that's a hit for us. That's a $35 winner. Rack that up. We need two more. There's a six. That's going to be another $35 winner. Sixes are off the charts. Fives are pretty good too. And a seven out. So we bet against that eight because it was a cold number. And it was officially cold. The nine was on the fence. I was on the fence about it, but the, the eights was, was actually cold. All right, so that's going to be 60 here and then 50 on the odds. The six or the eight, we'll rack that up. Where are we at? All right, we got about 52 rolls in. We're on to the next shooter. We got 60 bucks out there and dice are out. Nine, center field nines. We burned us last time. The nines are trying to make a run, but what we do know is that the sixes and the fives are still looking good. We're betting them. And there's the eight. Are the eights trying to make a run, fill the gap? Who knows? Seven out. All right, so seven out. It's going to be a $5 winner. And we're moving on to the next shooter. Dice wrap. Three. Three craps, ace deuce. That's going to be a $60 winner. So we're having a pretty good outing this time. And there's a hard four. Now the fours have been quiet. So I am going to put a little bit out there. I'm not super confident. This table has been really weird. Um, but I am going to bet the nine, the five, the six. And there we go. Dice are out. And there's a seven. Seven out. So quick sevens. What's that going to do for us? 90 bucks. And we've got 80 out there. So that's a $10 winner. I think it's time to change out these reds here for a black. Let's do that. Got to do some chip rack management here. All right. And then here and here, and we'll take one of these down. Okay. Moving on. Got 58 rolls in. We're almost finished. Five. Oh, we did not want that point. That is not one that we wanted. But we'll leave our, our six and our nine out there. And there's a six. Excellent. That is a six. That is going to be a $35 winner. We'll rack that. 
This gives you a, a chance to get on a run. There's a four, four hard. The fours, are they coming back in there? And there's a yo, yo 11. It's been a while since they started showing their face again. Once they get hot, they just seem to get hot. And there's another three, three craps. So those are hot too. The 11s and the threes. And there's a seven out. Seven out. So we got 55, we got 60, one a nickel. Moving on, next shooter. And there's a seven, come out winner. That is a seven, that's gonna be a loser for us. So 60 bucks down, put 60 bucks back out there. And dice are out. Five, again, fives have been hot. But I still like the six and the nine. Let's see what we get. There's that nine. Excellent. So we're making two bets. We're betting two bets out there, guys. That's it. We're only exposed what we have back here. We're not. It's just, and there's the six. I mean, we're just getting lucky, I guess. Right? That's what people would say. We're getting really lucky at the table. There's another nine. So the last three rolls just happen to be the bets that we're betting on. That's it. We're just really lucky. And there's an eight. So then we're, when we miss the uh, roll, we're unlucky, right? And there's another eight, a repeater. So the eights are trying to come back in there. They are trying to catch up. And there's the seven out. So that's going to be the end of this session. We have, uh, it's a nickel winner on that one. Pay that right down there. So that's going to be the end of this session. Let me put these in the chip rack and we'll go to this, the craps tree, check it out, see what we got and uh, see what your thoughts are on it or you can get an idea of what it looks like this time around. So much, much different than what it should be. I mean, your sevens, sevens are a little lower. The uh, six is way over the top. Should add 10 sixes in that session. You got 13. Should have had eight fives in that session. You got 10. So that was hot. The 11s were just way over the top. They should have only had, I think, six known. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's, that's how that session went. So we did a little bit of a comeback. Thankfully, it was a comeback from a big, big, bad outing on the one before this one. But that's okay. That's the way it works. This is the way the trends work. They are a back and forth fight sometimes. So we did have about $650 when we started out this session. Let's see where we end up. I'm going to tell you, it was a good session. There's four and there's five. So that's nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1200. 1250, 1260, 1264. Let me make sure I did that right. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1264. So 1264, not quite to our $1,800 target yet. But I'm going to tell you, that's so much fun to play when it's hitting. When it's not hitting, as you saw in session three, it's no fun, but it's going to happen. It's going to be a back and forth thing, but by identifying your numbers that are hot, you actually give yourself a chance. It's, what, it's my opinion. It's what I'm shooting. I can't really change what's happening at the table. I can't change what we're seeing. I can't change what the bets that we're betting are doing, but I can broadcast it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it so you guys can check it out. You can make your own decision. This is not advice on how you're going to actually win at the table. This is just to show you how I'm winning or losing at the table with a given strategy, but we're not there yet. We're not at the $1,800. So if you haven't already, I'd like for you to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get notified because I know I'm getting to that $1,800. Am I going to get to it on the next session? Let's find out together. See you next time. <music>